All right, this is section 5.1, combining functions. Uh, the first type of combining is operations, uh, which are as follows. If f of x and g of x both exist, that means you can find f of whatever x you're looking at and g of whatever x. The sum difference product and quotient of two functions f and g are defined by f plus g of x is f of x plus g of x. That means when they ask us to find f plus g of whatever, any number x, that we separate them into f of x plus g of x. Do not think of distributive property. This is not the distributive property. This is the definition of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing functions. Okay? Uh, or, or, yeah, the operations of. All right. Uh, the domain for each of those, f plus g, notice that's a function, f plus g. Uh, f, uh, g, f minus g, and f over g is the set of all x where both f and g are defined because you have to have a number for each, right, or an output uh, or a y value for f and a y value for g. Uh, and furthermore, g of x, when you're doing f over g, g of x cannot be zero. I think we've seen something like that before. All right, let's take a look at how these look. So let's try number one here, evaluate f plus g of zero. So the first thing we want to do is write the way we were uh, told it was f plus g of 0, uh, it says f plus g of x is f of x plus g of x, so f plus g of 0 is f of 0 plus g of 0, okay? And then just find each of those, so f of 0 is negative 3, right? x is 0, y is negative 3, and g of 0 is, uh, where's g of 0 is the other table? 1, and that ups up to negative 2, and that's our answer. All right, we'll leave number 2 for class. Let's try the second one. Let f of x be uh, the square root of x plus 1, and g of x be negative 2x plus 5. First, let's find the domain of each separately. So the domain of f is, if you remember when you have a square root, uh, whatever's under the square root has to be greater than or equal to 0. So x has to be greater than or equal to 0. And then the domain of g when you don't have a square root and you don't have a fraction, right, it's just a polynomial function, it's all real numbers from negative infinity to infinity. All right, so uh, find f minus g of x. So first we, we say f minus g of x, we say the way we were told, is f of x minus g of x is f of x minus g of x. All right, and then that is f of x is something minus g of x is some other expression. So f of x is the square root of x plus 1, which are with a square root, it only goes on the x, minus, and g of x is negative 2x plus 5. Okay, and then we just need to combine like terms. So don't forget you're going to uh, distribute whatever's outside the parentheses, or the brackets in this case. So when you distribute the 1 that's outside the first brackets, that's the square root of x plus 1. Uh, when we distribute the negative, negative times, uh, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2x. Negative 1 times positive 5 is minus 5. And we can combine the plus 1 and the minus 5. This will be square root of x plus 2x minus 4. That's f minus g of x. Okay? So that's one part that we needed to find. Then we want to find the domain, okay? So what is the domain? We'll put it right here next to f minus g of x. So the domain uh, is the intersection of the two domains. So for the first part, f is only defined for x greater than or equal to 0. g is defined for all real numbers. So the intersection is x greater than or equal to 0, right? You can look at that on a number line. <coughs> I'll put f on top, right? f on top is from 0 to the right. And g on bottom, I'll put it right here, is there. So where do they both, where are they both defined? Where, 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 where they're both shaded right there. f is shaded, g, uh, g is shaded all the way through. f is only shaded from 0 on. So only from 0 on are they both shaded. So the domain is... Uh, negative infinity, uh, x is greater than or equal to 0, sorry, x is greater than or equal to 0, okay, that's our domain for this particular function. All right, and we'll do 4, 
which is similar to, to the one we just did. And then we'll do 5. Notice 5 is f plus g of 9. That means we have a specific number to find uh, f and g for. Okay? But it's the same kind of stuff. All right. Let's do one more. We'll do number uh, 6. Uh, we'll do uh, b, f, g of negative 1. So first, f, g means f of whatever uh, we were told, which is negative 1, times g of the same number, negative 1, same value of x. All right, and we're just going to find each one. So it'll be some number times some other number. So for f, watch out, right? So the function f is this one. And we're looking for f of negative 1. That means go to x is negative 1. It's over here. And then y is negative 3. f of negative 1 is negative 3 times g of negative 1. That means the y value for x equals negative 1 on the function g. Right, so we're uh, go to where g equals negative 1. And then the function g is this one, the top one. And g of negative 1 is negative 1. Right, that's the y value there for that point. Right, so we multiply negative 3 times negative 1, and that equals 3. So f g of negative 1 is 3. That's our answer. All right, notice all we're doing is finding values uh, f of whatever, uh, or uh, taking the expression whatever f of something is, like we did on the last example over here. Yeah. f of x, g of x. All right, uh, the other um, combining is composition of functions, and that is defined as follows. If f and g are functions, then the composite function g composite f, or composition of g and f, is defined by g composition f of x is g of f of x. So they're telling us when we're given that little circle in between the two functions, we can write it this way. And then we can find g of whatever f of x is. Remember, f of x is some number y. And then we can find g of that number that we found for, for y. All right, we read this. Uh, we read g of f of x as g of f of x. Note that f composition g is f of g of x, which is not the same thing as g of f of x, which is g composition f. So be careful with the order, right? g composition f means g of f of x. f composition g means f of g of x. All right, let's do one example of this one. Let's find, um, let's find g, uh, f of g of 0. Okay, so f, or f, comp comp f composition g of 0. Of zero. So first, we want to write it this way f of g of 0. And I'm going to use some color coding. Hopefully you'll be able to see the, the color on the, uh, on the video. So it's f of g of 0. I'm going to put the g of 0 in, in green. Okay. And so that means f of something, whatever g of 0 is. So we go to the table for g. g of 0 is 1. So g of 0 is 1. We replace g of 0 with 1. Now we need to find f of 1. So we go to the table for f f of 1 is negative 2. That's it. So all we did was take a function, find its output, and then uh, use that as the input for the next function. Okay, that's our answer. So f circle g of 0, sometimes we say it the, that way, f circle g, right? It's f composition g. Uh, some people read it as fog, f-o-g fog. Okay, so, so just be aware that some people do that. Okay, and the other two are the same. Number eight is is the same, just g of f of x, and then number nine is f of f of one. Uh, g of f of one. I'm sorry, and number nine is f of f of one. Same kind of stuff, right? As I just did right there. Okay. All right. That is section uh, five one.